how's it going? Now, sorry for this different setup with a mic like right next to me. Oh, look, breasts, right? Or is it someone's butt? Grab the butt. Sexual harassment, everyone. Sexually harass the air. Syntax error. Nike air. But no, I just didn't feel like, I, I didn't feel like setting up the other mic and all that stuff, so. Anyway, um, over the past couple days, there have been a number of comments that have been somewhat uh, either enlightening or eye-opening or what have you. And uh, one person had said, you know, Kazum, why are you propping up Biden as being a nice guy? He's not really a nice guy. And, you know, you look at his history, he hasn't been a nice guy. And you look at some of his comments, and he hasn't always been a nice guy. Sometimes when he's been heckled by people, he snaps back at people inappropriately, like a uh, uh, dog-faced pony soldier. You know, I'm sure everyone remember. Bleh. I'm sure everyone remembers that. So, so you make a good point. He's not that great in that regard. He's better than Trump, though. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't call other politicians names. He doesn't just call Republicans names. You know, he he's he's at least a little better in that regard. But you know, maybe people on the right feel about Biden similarly to how people on the left feel about Trump. So, and. Uh, some other things that were a little bit enlightening for me is when people were saying, I mean, enlightening isn't the right word, but uh, people telling me that when Biden and others push for unity and uh, to be a little nice to each other for a change, uh, people on the right are like, well, that's just that's just empty. No, we're, we're not going to be, uh, be all nice, because look how you treated us for four years. And I'm like, oh. And I've seen it from, from several people. And I start looking around, and I see it more and more, and I'm like, oh, great. Well, some of the things that I had hoped that would ha could happen out of a Biden presidency, the positive things from that may not... May, may not come into fruition, so. And, uh, but I was, uh, over the past couple days, but especially today, I was reminded of, of so many of the horrible things about Biden and Kamala Harris. And, uh, I was, uh, looking at a video from, uh, from the Jimmy Dore show. I, I don't watch Jimmy Dore as much as I should. He's usually pretty independent thinking, and he's willing to criticize any side that's pulling some bullshit. So, got a lot of respect to, for him. If you if you don't watch Jimmy Dore, I, I recommend it. I recommend checking out his channel. But in this video, it's entitled "Gross Kamala Harris Iconography Posted by Michael Moore." And uh, this tweet from Michael Moore um, shows Kamala Harris in shoes with these tiny little heels on them that I don't know how, to, how anyone could walk in those. You know, I suppose it might be a, a painting as well because the, uh, the shadow that it's showing is supposed to be of Ruby Bridges. Um, here is a the original Norman Rockwell painting depicting Ruby Bridges, who is a uh, a civil rights activist and uh, who really really fought hard for civil rights for for black people and everyone really. But uh, so I wanted to see you know, the original uh, tweet from Michael Moore, because, uh, you know, Jimmy Dore was just ripping apart Kamala Harris for good reason. And I never tried to claim that uh, Kamala Harris is all that great, but uh, I still think Biden could have chosen worse. Like, imagine if he would have chosen Bloomberg as the vice president, right? 
But uh, yeah, um, so here's Michael Moore's original tweet. And uh, one person said, Oh, Rosa sat so Ruby could walk, so Kamala could run. Hashtag power to black women. Hashtag the dream is alive. And uh, as you can see, uh, some people didn't take that tweet so well because, you know, as this tweet says, uh, she would have locked up Ruby, Michael. And uh, she, she gets all cozy with Israel, as if Israel can do no wrong, which is ridiculous. I don't, under, I don't think I'll ever fully understand this notion that you can't criticize Israel, otherwise you're anti-Semitic. It's just like, no, I can criticize the actions of Israel and the Israel government. Israel doesn't represent all Jewish people. That's absurd. But I suppose there will be some people who will claim that I'm, uh, I'm anti-Semitic just because of what I just said. And it's just like, no. But uh, eventually I ran into this, this video. Um, God, who, who is this by? Well, anyway. You know, I hope Biden doesn't choose another white male, hawkish, Wall Street serving lover of Israel who locks up black people. And I now stand before you as the top cop of the biggest state. I was going to start prosecuting parents for truancy. Said if you don't go to school, Kamala's going to put you and me in jail. We must stand with Israel. Great. He picked a black female, hawkish, Wall Street serving lover of Israel. Who locks up black people? Girl power. Woohoo. Ah, soapbox. Okay. With Rania Kalik. <laughs> I'm probably totally flubbing her name, but uh anyway, so I, I ran across this this link here. It says, Hey, here's your download link. And I said, Well, I'm I use script safe, so I don't have to worry about it if I click on that link. And uh, this video link was to the video you just saw, and this video link was a link to this video from Richard Medhurst, whom I had never heard of previous to this, who made a really good video. It's entitled, America Just Replaced One Monster with Another. And I'm going to go into that video now. They couldn't wait one goddamn minute to go back to brunch. You have people celebrating in the streets about Joe Biden being elected. What are you celebrating? This guy bombed us. This guy bombed my country. He destroyed the Middle East. He locked up millions of black people in America. He did. It's inexcusable. It's despicable. And shame on me for not making more of a big deal about it in the days leading up to the election. Don't you have any goddamn empathy? Don't you have any compassion? Don't you have any common sense? Has everyone lost their collective fucking minds? You can be happy about Trump being gone without rehabilitating and whitewashing a fucking racist war criminal. Well, I mean, to be fair, I think most of them are celebrating the fact that we're probably not going to have Trump anymore. And then you got Stephen Colbert and Vance Jones and all these mopes on television, fake crying with their crocodile tears about how decency is going to be restored to the White House. What decency? What character? Well, I think they're purely speaking about his personality, regardless of how much he lies. And let me tell you, Joe Biden lies a lot. This guy spent his entire life trying to screw over the working class, trying to screw over people of color. Why don't you go look at pictures of kids in Iraq, in Fallujah, born with birth defects because of the war that Joe Biden started and come and tell me about what decency is. Yeah, if you look at Joe Biden's history and war... And warmongering, I mean, there doesn't seem to be a war that Joe Biden didn't support. Even five years before the Iraq war, Biden suggested that the only way to disarm Iraq is to kill Saddam Hussein. So yeah, he has quite a history of this. It's awful. You war criminal rehabilitating motherfuckers. And you got people congratulating him? Like AOC? What are you congratulating him for? 
You don't congratulate Joe Biden just like you don't congratulate Mussolini if he beat Hitler in an election. How can you sit there and rehabilitate a guy who started the Iraq war, who helped orchestrate it, who has the blood of a million Iraqis on his hands, who's never met a war that he didn't like? You know, it's sad that the hippie movement died out because so much of what drove the hippie movement was an anti-war stance. The left hasn't stood for that for a long time. It's quite sad. Who's going to keep the drone strikes going? He's going to keep the wars going. He's going to keep the sanctions going. He's going to keep locking up black people. He's going to keep pushing neoliberal policies. He's going to keep giving out corporate bailouts. He's going to keep screwing over the middle class. What is wrong with you? You should be fucking crying, not celebrating. Well, I mean, what choice do we have? It's either diarrhea soup or a shit sandwich. Media and the DNC choose who becomes the primary candidate. Doesn't matter how many people supported Bernie Sanders. Media hated Bernie Sanders more than they did Trump. I mean, now, I mean, Trump isn't nearly as much of a warmonger as Biden. You know, Trump didn't get us into any wars. He continued the drone strikes, but he didn't get us into any major wars. But... I mean, maybe if you would have got a second term, maybe we would have went to war with China. I don't know. But but Trump continues to pump up the military. Let's really, you know, maybe it's walk softly, but carry a big stick. Or maybe it's walk really loudly and carry a big stick. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Trump hasn't been a warmonger. That's about the only th good thing I can say about him. But... Uh, I mean, yeah, he did have the First Step Act and such, but uh, yeah, I mean, most people who are cr happily crying aren't crying because, oh, look, we love Biden. They're crying because, hey, we're probably not going to have Trump in office anymore. So there was no pushing Biden left. There was no lesser of two evils. The whole system is evil. And we already know what the next four years are going to be. Anyone who criticizes the Biden-Harris administration, anyone who opens their mouth about corruption, about imperialism, about war crimes, they're going to call them foreign agents. They're going to use the Russiagate playbook against them. Oh, you're a Putin puppet. Yeah, I hadn't really thought about that side to it. I mean, people bring out Russia, Russia, Russia for, for just about everything. So I can't imagine them not bringing that out when people try to criticize Biden and, and Kamala Harris. Yeah, you're probably right. And it's unfortunate. And for the rest of the world, it's the same old, same old. They're going to keep bombing us. They're going to keep killing us. They're going to keep drone striking us, putting sanctions on us. And no one is going to give a shit. They got rid of Trump. And now they've given you the architect of the system that gave you Trump. I wish you weren't right, but you're right. Thanks for the reality check.